Friday mga kaikso Ngayon po sa araw na to ay gaganapin namin itong panibagong things, Thanksgiving ng Light of Jesus Family o the Light Feast Pagadian dito sa Barangay Dumagok at kung saan kasama tayo sa event na to. Ito po. Dito na po yung pangalan natin. At ito pong gagawin namin ay magpo-praise and worship kami sa pamamagitan ng pagpapasalamat namin sa Panginoon nating lahat at sa buong mundo na tayo umabot pa sa kapanahuna ngayon 2022 alam ko na pinahirapan tayo ng 2021 pero dapat mas maging matatag tayo kaya ngayon itong gagawin namin gatherings is all about the God's love kung paano tayo minahal na maginoon at makikita po natin at masasaksihan po natin ngayong gabi kung pa, ano po ang gagawin ng peace light ang peace light po ang ito po samahan ng light of Jesus family ay samahan ng mga katoliko o charisma ka, eh, charismatic group of catholic church okay po ha lahat po rin nandito ay lahat po ay katoliko at wala pong ibang reliyon at ang amin pong rason kaya kami sumali sa light of Jesus family na itinatag ni brother Bo Sanchez upang ipasok muli sa simbahan yung mga nawala Okay po, kaya samahan niyo po ako sa gabi nito at samahan niyo po ako ang enjoyin ang praise and worship na gagawin ng peace life pagadian. Diba? Samahan niyo ako. Actually, nung pagpasok ng New Year, ito yung verse na binigay ni Lord 
and want these words to be shared, you know, to my families, to my fellow friends, brothers and sisters, especially the this ministry. This is His promise. The Lord your God will bless you in the land that He is giving you. Not one of your people will be poor if you obey Him and carefully observe everything that I command you today. The Lord will bless you as He has promised. You will lend money to many nations but you will not have to borrow from any. You will have control over many nations, but no nation will have control over you. Just imagine, he, the Lord God will bless you to the land that He is giving you. And what is that land? No? This ministry. He will bless every worker nga gisangon ni ni sa mga tagisanap not just from this ministry but to our every family no as we obey as we obey his command and carefully observe his command he will bless you blessings more than blessings that wala na may igong kasudlan ba overflowing so filled with so much love filled with so much treasures filled with so much uh, happiness gratefulness in heart that nothing nga maka puno pa dyan, no and only God can do that for your life all the emptiness in your heart seek Him Seek, him, uh, seek His presence as He has promised to bless, you, to bless you to the land that He is giving you. That you will not have to borrow from any. Dili na mo kailangan ng hulang. Instead, ikaw mo pa ang magpahulang. Ikaw mo pa ang mutabang sa abang nations. At this very moment, I want you uh, to, to feel, you know, Yung God's, no way to God's love na ginatuto sa ato. This is our prayer, the community prayer. The the blessings, no? That is given to us. Merry Christmas everyone to raise your hands and declare the God's love. Everyone, today, today I receive, I receive all, all God's love, love for me. me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healings, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I will become more like Jesus every day. And today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Let's give a big hand to the Lord. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to turn back the mic. Okay, thank you. Okay, so. Okay, so. Okay, so. Okay, so. Anyone from the crowd? Kabalo mo, nga nung embracing doon, nga nung ato ang mga gakso ng koan, ang kabuntagon, ang kaadlawon. Nga nung kinahangla na to, i-embrace ang kaadlawon. Di ba mo na ang time na lisod kayo mo bangon? Lami pa kaya akong damgulor, gano po kaawa naman ko ni mo. Lami pa kaya akong damgulor, gano po trabaho mo naman ko ni mo. Kapoy mo magsugnod, Lord. Uy, mag maglungag na po, maghugas na po. The rotation, ang pabalik-balik na mga trabahoon sa kadaadlaw. But then, why do we have to embrace it? Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to our Reverend Father Julius sa iyaang message and why we have to embrace our dad. At ang pangpakat si Father.
Did your presentation or put any hand, my father, since wala mo si father physically there to embrace the dawn of new things para sa year 2022. My dear friends, kinita na maabot ang mga bagong buka. If we will have, this we will know it, if we will nurture our relationship with our past. So, today, I will say to you, the five necessary gifts, five necessary gifts that we need to nurture, we need to embrace. After the thing on that, we have to know it. We need to feel the gifts. First is, among the farmers, ang hindi mo makapag-ulit sa na. Pero kani, mga invisible gift ni sila, hindi kayo hindi makita at wala ko may balisya at kalag-kalag na ito mo sa course na ako. So, kani hindi ma-is, first is the gift of hope. Kung hindi ito sa nakuha dahil ng gift ni sila, hindi ito sa nakuha dahil ng gift ni sila, hindi ito sa nakuha dahil ng gift ni sila, hindi ito sa nakuha dahil ng gift ni sila, hindi ito sa nakuha dahil ng gift ni sila, so we will be ready to begin the new year by accepting, opening ourselves to accept the gift of hope that God is preparing for us. So as well as enjoy, finish up, have a little bit of a talk to you all. Okay? So, you know, ah, the moment of time, the twilight of joy, the twilight is actually 
uh, sense or appearance of time before sunrise and after sunset. And then you know, nag-abot ang ang kanit-kanit o ang kahayan mo na siya'y boy-boy. And of course, ang joy is also a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. So, nagpunan kita, we are celebrating a um, very good year. So, muna yung topic kita, how do we maintain joy in our lives for the for 2022? What is your essence to accept a twilight and joy? So it's only a class in joy. Joy with yourself, uh, joy with others, joy with the mission, and joy with the spirit. So, okay, and where actually the joy it appears 60 times to survive on it. No? And then, it's a good job. Our first appearance animal word is, um, that's a Matthew 2 10. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. So, one of our opinion of biggest to Danny is, what's the name of the joy? 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 So, our twilight of joy is always based on our relationship. Okay? Our twilight of joy is out of Marky and Bobby are always based on our relationship. So, Asa man na relationship with Grace? First, first is our relationship with God. So, kung sa man ang relationship with God, um, this first week of 2022, or last year sa 2021, mas nahimok ba siyang deeper? Mas nakila-ila na natin siya? Mas nakila-ila na natin na? Because this is really going to be our source of joy. So, I'm going to go to the next one. And next is our relationship with ourselves. If you have a relationship with yourself, are you happy with yourself? Um, are you in love with yourself? Or are you too critical with yourself? So, I'm going to go to the next one. And of course, our relationship with Others. Kumusta man ang ato relationships sa ato ang parents, sa ato mga eksuon, sa ato anak, no? Kumusta man na ato ang silingan? Because this, these are the source of our joy. Okay? Kung sa kaniyog ba sa panahon kaya ang twilight, twilight mo man siya actually it's light, light na ako sa um, darkness or na ako sa light. It's, it's actually the same thing with light. No? Uh, pwede siyang uh, karun we're actually happy. Pwede siyang karun naghan ka ayong struggles, yung challenges. But, kana siya ng mga, uh, kana siya ng mga pagkakas ko yung mabubi. Mabalik iapunta with all our relationship. So first is our relationship na with God. Ngayon, ako relationship with ourselves, kumusta man, and our relationship with others. Okay, so, muna siya ako mga pangutana sa ako kaganyan for this time. Kumusta man, di ba? Ako mga relationship. So, how do we, um, so as we embrace the dawn of 2022, there are five ways of filling our hearts. Of filling, you know, because we're embracing a new year. This is this is a very good start for peace for the end. And I'm so grateful that the embrace of the the blog of the apple, the journey of making a very good start for 2022. So as we embrace a new dawn of 2022. I'm so grateful with love and apple because they have really raised the standards for us for the peace. So, Karun, I remind us of mga kaugaling that there are five ways, actually five ways of filling our hearts with joy. Okay, so usa man ang five ways so to lahat. Number one, of course, is that we have to believe in our own worthiness. How do we believe? Ikutin yourself, ikutin mo ang kamot sa iyong heart. 
and um, I say this, I am a wonderful human being, a beautiful person, I am a beautiful person, I am blessed, I am equipped, I am anointed, I am generous, I am wealthy in every way, because we have uh, we have to believe in our own worthiness, diba? When you say those words, when you don't say this, I don't know what you don't have to now. Do you feel better? Diba? Nagaan ba? Do you have to You know, that's actually how we have to believe in our own worthiness. Because we have to ask questions like, what's... Instead of saying, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Sakto ang nako. Kasi mo naman sakto na akong libuhat for the last few years ako kinagdudu. So, para pa dyan mas tuan, as I mentioned in your heart, for 2022, pag kung isa ka ba ng paper, dayon, isulat. Isulat. What's right about me? So, what's right about love? What's right about ako? What's right about Ken? What's right about the joy? Diba? Uh, what's right about your son? So these are the things that you really want to know about ourselves. Because we have to believe in our own happiness. Okay? So because uh, when we appreciate our work, let's not appreciate that our own. What do you want to say to the world? Let's not appreciate that our own. And let's not grow up in love. Okay? And of course, and of course, second is so we have to fulfill them. No? Okay, we have to honor these dreams, okay? Um, we have to plan sa ilo o sa doa. So, pinahangalan, kabala tao sa ilo dreams. Okay? And second, we have to go and reach for dreams. So, for 2022, kung wala ka kabala o sa ilo dreams, we can help you. Sa peace light, kagandian, so our light group every week, so join them ha. Para we can help you identify the excellent in your dreams. And also help you reach your dreams. Okay? So, third is care for your needs. So, we have to care for our needs as a person. Kaya, what do you mean? Para makabalit ha, the more we care for our needs, is that the more ka makasurve. Ano naman? We have to be aware. Hindi na kung mga need ka sa person. Kasi naman natin ko ang yun. We identify na ka kung mga need ka sa person. Kaya kung mga puti siya ay um and also if we have our needs fulfilled, mas easier ka makasurve. Diba? So, go ahead. You can also write your own needs a piece of paper. So, may makapahapi niyo. Like ako, my name is a cup of coffee and a devotional book in the morning. Wala ako tayo ng job. Nakunti na dahil ako na ako needs ano na naman tayo. And this simple act will bless our relationship. Because, karang ako ba, kung feel na ako mga needs, we can now serve people needs with heart full of love. Being out of neediness. Okay? Fourth is relate with the right God. No? Okay, I've met a lot of people whose God is always angry and condemning. So if you are one of them, I'm sorry, but I'm praying that you will not be bad. Because we are praying with the wrong God. Diba? So, we have to fix our picture of God. Kung saan na kind of God ang yung gina-pray, kung saan na yung nainhan ng God. Because you have to read book on God's love and talk to the right people who has a right image of God. Capture the visions. Because yan naman. And as we capture the vision of the right God, we have to allow that God to love us. No? Huh? Ito naman mo, whisper siya of, whisper siya sa atong heart of, more than, um, whisper siya of really wonderful things that we can imagine. 
Kasi when we change our image of God, um, our relationship with others will change the lips and bounds because we become the God that we worship. No? Because if you worship a judgmental God, you'll also be judgmental. But if you start worshiping a great, compassionate God, if you start um, worshiping a God of great compassion and love, then hina hina yung pariya po ganiya. We don't look at others with judgment, but we look at them with the eyes of love. So, makita na to ang ilahang, makita na to ang uban sa ilang kagwapa o kagwapo instead sa ilang kamao o sa kamao sa ilang mga batasan. So we really need to relate with the right God. Okay? And lastly, relate with the right people. Kaya naman. Diba? Because in, remember, ang needy people attract needy people. So be careful to pinsan ang mga tao yung kasudlog sa inyong pinabuhi. So if you're not careful, you may end up with a lot of people who are emotional vampires. Pero kung kuhaon nila ang joy, of love, of happiness sa inyong pinabuhi. Okay? So mo na, dahil kahit emotional vampires, demanding kayo ng mga tao, arrogant, self-righteous, bitter, unfaithful, manipulative, dahil kayo tao, dahil kayo tao na ka emotional vampire. But, bulaw na ang naaal kay 24 hours in a day. So, dapat na ang siya limit kung pila na kami nuto kang hang out ang nila. You don't actually, hindi niyo kung sila pwede bihaan because they're, most probably they are your mission. Sila ang mga tao na dapat niyo tabangan. But, you also need to get your energy somewhere else. Ang ako ang point ba, if you're always hanging out with emotional vampires, na mahurot ang inyong love and wala kay time na mahang out sa mga great nourishing people who can give you love is so good kayo na. I'm not saying ha na i-get rid ni mo yung mga toxic na uyab or yung toxic na mama or yung toxic na papa. I'm saying na tagay sila time but not in the village na tanan na time because you have to love them. But remember, ha, remember Jesus spent uh, time with tax collectors, prostitutes, and palahubo, reaching out to them in love. Okay, mama na siya ay ang main ministry. Mama na siya ako main ministry. Mama na siya ako main ministry. But we have to balance this by spending time, but we have to balance by spending time with his disciples and with his father too. So, increase. Uh, your time with people whose hearts aren't filled with neediness but love. When you surround yourself with the right people, your heart will be filled with heart love too. So look for mentors, teachers, coaches who can bless you. Right? So mo na in one um one action choose one action na to karon for God. In kanisa tanan kani five kabuo. Pwede din mo balik-balik ko for 2022. Pili mo yung karang adlawa, mo relate baka with the right people. Um, Pwede baka tao mo relate with the right ka na makatapang rino or karang adlawa, you care for your needs. Diba? Or second na adlaw, you fulfill your dreams because you can actually use it for the next 365 days. Muna siya ang magbatamang sa inyo ha? for the peace, um, peace of life bumabot. Okay, so that's actually it. So well, thank you so much for because we know because the back here in Proverbs thirteen to twenty, he who walks with the wise will become wise, but whoever walks with the fool will suffer hard. Mona, I welcome to the happiest place in Pagadian City, and welcome to Peace Life Dubago. So we're inviting you again for our light group. Just ask. Um, at the apple and at the love for our schedule, right? So, um, in, let's embrace a new dawn this 2022. Let's have a joy in our hearts so we can serve more.
Thank you so much and happy new year to everyone. God bless everyone. Hey, thank you, Ati Diana. Gadaghan to the mention.